Right, I'm going to start this video off by asking can you please hit that subscribe button it is absolutely free and please can you also hit the like button hit the thumbs up it gets me more people to watch it more people to enjoy the videos as much as I like making the videos I need you guys to help me if you think I'm doing something wrong if you think I'm doing something right please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the section down below every 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 comment always helps and I don't mind replying either so yeah once again absolutely free please hit the subscribe button hit that thumbs up and enjoy the video see you later I got to see him can you see him look he's coming say hi, hi. And somebody who is friendly and not shy, this is Snickers. He's another one that I've had as a rescue. And Bear is out. Let me see him. I want to see him. And he's gone. I don't want to see him. Can you see? Yeah. Right, we got some blue tuxedos. Oh, I got cut there. We got a new peacock and a killifish in here somewhere. There's the peacock. Yeah. finally tell the genders of our baby cribs we got female and the male just chilling on the filter spray bar and the leaf and off he goes okay so I think daddy might have eaten all the babies because they all disappeared mommy might have eaten them, I don't know, but she seems to be hiding in that corner quite a lot, so there's a possibility she could be breeding again. Guess we'll soon find out. But, uh, yeah, for now, no more babies. Pepper and George seem to be growing quite quick. The size of them already, and the colours on them are absolutely gorgeous. We've got plenty of guppies and platies in here. You can probably tell we've got a few new ones that have joined the family. Somewhere Not a fat lot has changed with the barb tank. We've got the giant shark in here. This is the biggest albino rainbow shark that I own and that's from Dan. And he's currently hiding back here somewhere. You can probably just see his head. He likes to hide, he's a bit of a shy one. Not a fat lot has changed in the Tetra tank. We've had the rainbow fish. We've got Snickers. We've got another catfish in there called uh, Bear. He's around somewhere, he's usually in the back corner over here somewhere. He seems to keep hiding with the uh, feather fin catfish. Don't really see them very often. You'll also notice that we've got a few real plants in here. So we'll just see how they get on. But yeah, everything seems all gravy in this one. As per usual, everybody's happy in here. We've got the four big bowler sharks, the three clown loaches, two convicts, uh, the keyhole, the two fire mouths, 
So there, and there's a Bolivian Ram in there somewhere as well. Plus the two giant Plex. That one just loves to lie wherever. I had made space for him, but he likes to lie on top of things, so I've put a few more bits back down. And of course, Dyson still has his hole underneath his ship. And here we've still got the two axolotls. The glare on this tank is absolutely horrible, but here you go, you can just about see them both. We've still got our beautiful little baby axolotl in here as well. I haven't seen him eat yet, but he has been eating. There is food going missing, slowly. But he's still happy, still alive, still going. In this tank we've still got our three goldfish. One of them did pass away, got stuck underneath the filter in the corner, so I've had to lower that down. Obviously, you all know claws. And then I found a new home for these two as well, going to one of the kids' friends at nursery. They've got the corner tank that I had up for sale, so Gracie and Charlotte will, and Jamie will soon have these guys. And they're having a couple of them from upstairs as well, so that Claus can go and join in the kids' tank. Still got this little guy in here, he seems to be growing slowly. It's another one of my random cichlids that was too small to put in with the others. Got all your scissor tails, all your neons, the black neons, the rummy nose, the penguin tetras. This guy is just beautiful though. It's just something as simple as getting some worms and chopping them up. And they're loving it. And the reason I've got these is obviously because I feed my axolotls worms, so I thought I'd try something different for these guys.
for these guys I don't even bother chopping the worms up and there it goes down in one So much glare, I do apologise. Yeah. That one's all gone. hit the subscribe button it is absolutely free and please can you please hit that thumbs up button like this video the more likes I can get the more people are likely to watch it and I just love doing these videos so I want other people to be able to enjoy them as well so please it's absolutely free hit the subscribe button hit the like button get me some more subs get me some more views you can tell I am doing the content I do love doing it I just hope you guys like watching it as well. Thanks again for watching.